hello everyone welcome back to bp interview tutorials and uh, guys today uh, i came up with an interesting topic wherein uh, we will be learning about how we can manage the leave tracker so why this is necessary first we will discuss that for an example there are 15 employees aligned to you you are working as a team lead this is not only specific for the operation quality or operation you can utilize it for like all the aspect you can use it at all the levels okay wherein you have a team aligned to you maybe in the operation training quality if you're working as an assistant manager it's completely usable for everyone so guys uh, this attendance tracker or this sorry leave tracker will help you out uh, to keep a track of leaves first thing second it will also help you that either you need to give leaves to one or more than one people or one employee at a time so that your shrinkage will not get impact so this will help you over here so just just start an example guys so for an example i have this lead tracker with me wherein i just mentioned the dates from november 1st to november 15 you can go further as well like you can maintain it for next three months four months six months up to you i just added here planned leave and planned leave overall leaves and shrinkage for my process, considering as an example, 15% 15 shrinkage is acceptable as per the client. So if it is more than 15%, yes, I need I will not, not allow to give the leaves. So I got a request that I got a request from one of the employee that I want a leave. Okay. And uh, like Josh came and he wanted a leave on 8th of November. He told that I want leave for two days. I said, okay, fine. I have seen that there is no impact of shrinkage so i'll just copy paste this data to the last so that it will be easy for me to gauge the things okay so here i have seen that okay so josh came to me he told that i want to leave so it's a seven percent shrinkage so it got how it got calculated how this one came everyone we will see guys step by step now again after some time john came and he asked me leave for same date I told that okay it acceptable because it is nowhere impacting to the shrinkage later on I have seen that after two or three days back Virat came and is asking for the leave post looking to this I can see yes my shrinkage is getting impacted and it it's getting to 20% at that time I will see this tracker I will tell Virat that don't to take leave on this particular day see guys if something is very much urgent yes definitely we cannot avoid that but yes if there is a situation wherein we can inform the associate and the things are getting understandable uh, we can we can uh, uh, save our shrinkage for that particular day so this is what a leave tracker is that you can maintain for next one month two months or three months so let's start preparing this leave tracker guys i'm just going to new sheet renaming it to the leave tracker leave tracker uh, so what i'll do i'll just copy paste the same name guys okay so the name is already existing i'll just keep there as leave track of one okay now i'm just copy pasting the names so it's up to you guys how many employees are aligned to you for me there are 15 employees those are aligning uh, aligned to me okay i'm just copy pasting the names i hope this is very easy to do that control c control v next i want dates for an example i have started tracking the leaves from november 1st so i just copy pasted the dates guys so if you want to change the format you can go and do right click you can go to format cells and you can change the format as well it's completely uh, doable guys you can do it i just will change the format to uh, my required format i'll use this okay so i done this november 1st and i'll just drag it to the next till i want till 15th november example so it's done I'll select the entire cell I'll give border it's easy to give border guys just you do select all you can go and you can do all border so it's done now names are available numbers uh, dates are also available it, it's up to you guys how you want to present this okay I'm just again uh, reformatting it because it's looking really uh, I can't say weird but yes uh, somehow it's showing details in a very huge format so what I'll do I'll just change it and uh, I'll go to custom okay I will just go to 
Okay, here we have. Okay, done. Okay, so I just did November 1 and November month. So it's up to you guys how you want to show this. So it's a November month. I will rename this again. Okay, I'll just mention this as a November leap tracker. Okay, set November 2022. It's done. Now what I'll do, I'll just add few more columns that is planned leave. Okay, I'll fill that. Next is unplanned. Unplanned leave. I will consider my absent also in my unplanned. And uh, shrinkage. Okay, I'll just move to the last and overall leave. Overall leave. Okay. I'll just give color to them. So doing this again, I'll just copy paste the same because giving color is very easy. So I'll just copy paste the same here. It's done. Okay. Now it's looking really good. You can plan this. You can prepare the same guys. Now I will use some few Excel formulas and function. So first calculating the planned leave. I got a request from Josh that he want a planned leave on 1st, 1st November, then 4th, 5th and 6th. And I can also see that Mitchell did the took the unplanned leave. I'm just giving UL there. It's up to me. If you want to mention complete unplanned, you can do that UL also. Here you can see Rahul also took one unplanned. He did not. Uh, it was a sudden emergency. So you know what is planned and unplanned leave guys. If you don't know, you can go to my uh, playlist. You can check out the videos. You will get to know in the part of what is attrition and shrinkage uh, wherein I have clearly explained about the plan and unplanned leave and plan wherein the employee is taking sudden leave plan wherein employee is coming as per the company policy like either is coming one month or 15 days or 10 days before applying for the leaves so i just added the both because we will be having two type of leaves now i'm using a formula that is count if okay i'm using the formula c o u n t count if oh sorry Deleted equal to C O U N T count if done, and I'm taking the range from okay. I'm just selecting all my uh, details from starting to the end and closing the bracket so you guys can see here. Not closing the bracket before that, I will use comma. What I want to calculate, I want to calculate PLs that how many PLs are there for that particular day done. You can see one PL is there. If I add one more, you can see two PLs are there. Same for unplanned. I'll use the same formula. I'll just copy paste. In place of plan, I will use unplanned in the formula. So again, I'll go here on the top. I'll use here as UL. It's done. Now overall shrinkage, I will just do sum equal to sum and I will select plan and unplanned both. It will get calculated. For my company, the expected shrinkage that is 15% is allowed. Okay, so 15% is allowed. More than that is not allowed, guys. So what I'll do, I'll just do equal uh, overall leaves divided by overall leaves divided by total number of associates who are roasted, guys. Please do understand total number of associates who are roasted. You cannot include week offs here, guys. If the employee is on week off, you will not use. So if I see that here there are 15 employees who are aligned to me, there may be a possibility is wherein uh, the few will be uh, roasted, few will be week off. So what I'll do, I'll just add one more column that is roasted. Okay, roasted. I'll add one more column here as roasted. Okay, and I'm just mentioning here that how many associates are present on that day. So I'll just collect P. P means present. I thought that this okay apart from so i think okay i'm just giving the calculation here and i week off okay week off and p okay which means uh, on that day two employees were on week off so i just want the details of roster again i will use count if and i will select from the employee details okay comma and double quotes p and done so 10 employees were roasted on that particular day, 2 were on week off, okay, and, uh, okay, sorry, and total 3, uh, 10, 10 employees were roasted today, 2 were on week off, 2 were, and okay, guys, so I'll do few changes here, I'll just mention here as present, okay, 
and uh, I will add one more column that is uh, roster employees. So why I did it, I'll tell you guys. To calculate the roster employee, like how many associate with roster on that day, roster which means the admins who are present plus the admins who took the leaves, plan or maybe unplanned. Okay, plan or maybe unplanned. So the calculation will comes as to the roster associate. Okay. So it's very easy. Now what I'll did, the plan employees were as per the calculation 12, one was in the planned leave, unplanned there are zero, overall leave that is one because we do not have any unplanned. Okay, so which means what are the total roster employees? Total roster will be calculated as present plus overall leaves, correct? Okay, overall which include planned and unplanned both. I'll do enter. Now I'll calculate the shrinkage guys. How the shrinkage will get calculated? Equal to roster, no. So total number of leaves divided by roster employees. Done. If you do okay, which means 7% I'm getting as a shrinkage. And as per my company policy, 15% is only allowed. So 7%, which means yes, I can give leave that particular day. I'll just give color coding here to the shrinkage. I'll go to conditional formatting. I'll go, I'll go to greater than and sign I'll just mention here that uh, if it is showing more than 15% okay formula which is showing more than it should shows under red color or else it will show under green color okay so ideally it's showing under green color now see if I'll do changes here I'm giving plant leave to one associate if I did one more which means if I'm giving leaves for two employees on that day, my shrinkage is getting impacted. It's going more than 15%. Okay, so it's very easy. Let's copy paste the same formula to the next date. Okay, same for the other dates as well. You can do this for the other dates as well. Okay, ideally it is showing few errors. That's completely fine. Okay, now let's calculate this formula for this. So I just came to the office on next day. 2nd November and I can see that I'm just mentioning P initially then I got to know that Mitchell was on unplanned okay and Virat was on unplanned I just thought that you can see that 13% I'm getting and only one employee was on week off okay only one employee was on week off so week off you will be getting already from the roster so which means there are total, total 20 12 employees were present Planned leave, no one have took. There are two unplanned leave. Overall leaves, there are two. Roasted employees, there are 14 because one is on week off. Now shrinkage, I'm getting that is 14.29%, which is acceptable. So it's justified. So why I'm teaching you this uh, leave tracker, guys, here is if people are coming for further leave request. For an example, uh, on third, before third, one month before, you got a leave request from Mahindra that he want a PL on 9. 10th and 11th he requested you did this calculation okay so on the basis of that you you thought that there is one month leave you given okay that's fine now we also get to know a weekly basis about our week offs as well and we know that there are two one employees were on week off same here there are few are on the week off that's completely fine okay oh and I'll just do a few calculation here example suppose on third we got a plan leave request from one more employee and I'm just mentioning present details here who were the present employees okay I did so easily you guys can gauge that two and I have one week off also sorry week off so you guys can easily easily gauge that two PLs are allowed which means two planned leaves are allowed on the basis of that you can Tell to your employees that yes, you can take the leaves. If you find that there is no possibility of taking the leaves, you can directly deny because you have all the data set and you have already planned the things here. So this is all about the leave tracker, guys. Utilize this uh, so that you can plan the leaves accordingly so that your shrinkage will not get impacted. That's all from my side. If you still have any doubt, please let me know. Uh, we can solve your issues, guys. So this is very much easy to design. And I hope you guys know how to use the uh, I just used only one formula that is count if and some two formulas count if basically used to calculate 
how many times the word got repeated for an example i'm calculating here p how many times p repeated here i'm calculating how many times pl repeated how many times ul repeated how many times the present got repeated p and here i just did sum of the plan and unplanned leave and here the roasted employees so in this way guys you can plan your leaves and you can tell to your employees and you can gauge that either you want to give leave for that particular day or not because at the end shrinkage is the main that need to be taken care so if you still have any doubt please let me know please share your feedback in the comment section and don't miss to click on bell icon and subscribe option and also check out the playlist you will get videos related to six sigma certification quality team lead quality analyst trainers reports dashboards trackers many more videos are there check out the playlist and share with your colleagues